Well, the importance of the 52-footer was astronomical, actually. It was this change of the Coast Guard uh, from going from wooden boats into the steel vessels and metal vessels. And uh, it was uh, September 1956 when the 52-footer got here, brand new, was shipped, built in Curtis Bay, Maryland, shipped to Seattle, and then they sent a crew from here to Seattle and they brought it down. The, you know, the 36-foot uh, surf boats, like the one we have on the front lawn in Newport, and then uh, they evolved over time into, you know, the 30-foot the surf rescue boats and the 44-foot motor life boats that replaced the 36-foot uh, wooden hull boats and they went to a steel design. And then after the, the 44s back in the 60s, 70s, 80s, and into the 90s, that's when the 47s came into play and replaced them. During that whole time, the 52s uh, have been around in existence throughout all those boats, the 36s, the 44s, and the 47s. It plays a, a huge role in the Coast Guard's heritage and history in the Pacific Northwest, dating back to you know the, the late 20s, 30s, uh, and then in the, the late 50s when the modern day 52s have come into play. And they've played a significant vital role in search and rescue, commerce, uh, up and down the coast. The holes of the 52s, um, we're finding out that for the most part they're still in good shape. Uh, and the 52 is a very valuable asset even to this day. Uh, it needs upkeep and it needs maintenance. And we've been able to provide uh, and stagger these yard periods and yard packages to extend their life out uh, for five to ten more years. There's only four of them in the Coast Guard and there's a lot of history, time, blood, sweat and tears on those boats to where you know, the modern day Coast Guard, uh, we owe it to uh, the people that have come before us to carry on the legacy of keeping the 52s looking good.